In this video I'm gonna talk about new great builds for PvE and mostly for PvP in Red Dead Online. And all these builds are going to use Slippery Bastard as a Dead Eye ability card, because in the last update this card was changed and now it's a reasonable choice for many situations in the game. Let's begin with PvE. I recommend you to use next build. First ability card is Slippery Bastard, of course, because you know what, NPCs not using bows, scopes or shotguns too often, and you can use this sort of weapon. And in the most situations you will be just staying in the Slippery Bastard, killing any NPC with bow, scope or a shotgun and not taking any damage at all. Next ability is Sharpshooter, because it gives us some extra extra damage reduction and extra damage while we are using a scope. And for these builds we are going to use scopes a lot, whether it's gonna be Garcano rifle or some repeater with a scope like Leechfield. Personally I prefer to use Carcano. If you're not gonna use any scoped weapons and you would prefer to stick with the shotgun or the bow, then I recommend you to replace this ability card with Gift of Focus or Eye for an Eye to get some extra dead eye back. Next ability card is of course Strange Medicine, it's a great choice for PvE and we have to restore health somehow, because sometimes NPCs will hit us. And the last ability card for this build is of course the Unblinking Eye, because there is a problem with Slippery Bastard, especially in PvE, this ability card drains our Dead Eye bar extremely fast and Unblinking Eye is gonna help us with that problem. Weapon choice, any scoped weapon for a longer distance. I'm using Carcano rifle. For the mid range we're gonna use bow and for the short range we're gonna use two saved off shotguns. This build is great for free aiming and for auto aiming and the only problem is that it uses a lot of dead eyes. So you have to learn how to activate Slippery Bastard at the right moment, for example when you are surrounded by NPCs. Otherwise this build is gonna be really expensive because you would have to drink a lot of dead eye tonics. Next build is designed for a free aim PvP, but it works pretty good in the auto aim lobbies, despite the fact that you're not gonna use auto aim too often. As the main weapons for this build, we are using two sniper rifles: Carcano with a short scope for a mid range, and Rolling Block with a mid or long scope for a bigger distances. For a closer distances, we're gonna use double pistols if you are playing on a free aim I suggest you to use double volcanics, it's especially good if you are using mouse and a keyboard, and if you're playing with auto aiming then probably mousers or semi auto pistols is gonna be better. Ability cards now, slippery bastard, of course we don't wanna be killed with a rapid fire or headshot with painted black. Second ability card is of course sharpshooter, because we are using two scoped weapons, so this ability card choice is obvious in my opinion. And the next ability card is peak condition, why do we need this? Mostly because we need this extra damage for Carcano to kill with one shot using express ammo, and sharpshooter is not enough, we need to have two damage ability cards. And peak condition gives us exactly enough bonus damage to make Carcano a one shot kill. In addition it also helps us to control our stamina level. And the last ability card is Gunslinger's Choice, because we are using double pistols and this card is gonna help us a lot. But we still not gonna land any shots using pistols while Slippery Bastard is active, so you will have to learn to turn off the Slippery Bastard at the right moment and make your shots. The right moment is when your opponent just made his shot and probably missed, because you are in a Slippery Bastard, and distance is perfect, it's not too close so you don't have to be afraid about the shotguns, and not too far away so you will be able to kill your opponent with only few body shots. This tactic is so much easier with auto aiming, but even with a free aiming it's something then you can learn after some 
some practice. To control this close distance you can also use hangman ability card instead of gunslinger's choice, but in my opinion it's not the most effective way of playing. On practice it's gonna be effective only against the new players, because there are so many ways to counter this strategy. For example, they can kill you with a shotgun, they can kill you with a bow, with a tomahawk, or simply just jump when you're trying to hit them with a lasso, or maybe even run away. So I prefer different kind of strategy for these closest distances, to take a lasso and to try to get your opponent on the ground, then there is nothing he can do and you will be able to kill him without any problem. Next build is designed to get a better balance on each distance, so for the longer distances we are using Carcano with a short or mid scope and express armor, for something that is closer that lock on range we are using bow, and for the closest ranges we are using dual saved of shotguns. So the ability card setup is pretty similar to previous one, we are using slippery bastard, we are using using sharp shooter of course and we are using peak condition to grant us one shot kill with a carcano. Peak condition for this build is even better because we're gonna run a lot and we need the stamina to make a shots with the bow. By the way bow kills with two body shots or one head shot from any distance. Keep in mind it's not so easy to hit your opponents with the bow even with auto aiming when they are moving or strafing. So it will take some practice to learn how to hit them. But once you're gonna learn how to land your shots with a bow, this build becomes extremely strong. Because you will just not let your opponents to get close to you, so you don't have to be worried about the shotguns, you will just kill them all the time. And even if they're gonna get close to you, then you have an option to switch to double saved off shotguns, and then it's just whoever shots first wins. Keep in mind that sometimes your opponents won't have shotguns and you will just crush them on these close ranges. This build is extremely strong, but there is one problem, it's kinda expensive, you would have to use the diatonics pretty often. There is another problem with this build, unlike painted black builds, this one actually requires some skill, even on an auto aim lobbies, because you have to practice to land your shots with a scope or with a bow against strafing or running targets and in free aim lobbies even hitting with a shotgun is not so easy. On a closer maps you might not use sniper rifle too often, that's why you can use gunslinger's choice instead of sharpshooter and that's how you are gonna be a little bit more accurate with the shotguns. But maybe you would rather use some other card instead of gunslinger's choice, I don't know, strange medicine or let's say gift of focus to better control your resources, it's up to you. And at these points you might think whether these new builds are imbalanced. No, not at all, they are easily countered, for example using sniper rifle with any ability card rather than slippery bastards is gonna give your opponent an advantage over you, because slippery bastard gives you nothing at all against sniper rifles. Second, if someone is gonna use bow with painted black, he's also gonna crush you, it's just super easy to land a headshot with or without auto aiming. But at the moment 90% of the people in PvP, especially in auto aim sessions, are running with painted black, repeaters and double pistols and just going for a headshot. And this sort of players you will be literally crushing, there is nothing they are able to do against your slippery bastard build. Please let me know what do you think about all these builds in the comments, I enjoyed them a lot because they are not only strong but pretty fun to play, but I'm looking to hear your opinion and maybe some advices. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thank you for watching, see ya, goodbye.